Hello, I'm Claire Ross from the town of Shebeg Island. I'm the harbor master there. And we're here requesting um, assistance with a feasibility study for, the, uh, for dredging at the Stone Wharf on Shebeg Island, which is our lifeline. It is our transportation link um, to the mainland. And without this, um, we carry school children, we carry rescue, fire, um, commuters, all kinds of, everything pretty much comes to the island that way except for heavy freight. Uh, and the barging also comes through this, this area that needs to be dredged. Uh, and we are an unbridged island, so as such we have to, uh, we have to deal with this ferry. Uh, so it's been, we carry about 125,000 passengers annually on the ferry. We also are the central point, the contact point for the fishermen. Uh, they all come to the stone wharf, they load their traps, uh, not every fisherman on the island does, but most of them. And they load their traps, they do some maintenance and repair on the vessels, they need access to the wharf. We have one, uh, one contact area that's all tied access, the rest of it is tidal. So uh, this area has been traditionally uh, dredged for probably over 100 years when it was privately owned and then it was then it became part of the town's property. It is the only town-owned wharf um, in the town. The other wharf is state-owned and it is, um, it is the contact point for the Casco Bay Islands ferry, the Casco Bay Lines. The need for the project really is that the fact that literally every citizen on Shebeg and the traveling public does contact in some fashion the stone wharf. We Everything goes through the stone wharf, whether you travel on the other ferry, but you're there, you live there, you're protected by the rescue services, everything um, that way. Groceries come across that way, everything comes um, on the ferry f through the stone wharf. So there's a number of number of other uses. There's passengers, passenger boats, and um, there's there are some there are some summer people who come in that way. Um, the primary industry really is fishing and lobstering, so that's our biggest concern right now is preserving this access. Anything else Thank you. To say?